Hey guys, welcome to part 3, the final part of this series of um, making a website in Photoshop, bringing it over to Dreamweaver and finally uploading it. So in this part, we'll be doing the final stage which is just uploading it. For this, I'm going to be using FileZilla to upload my stuff onto um, the host. And this is available on all platforms, so if you're on Windows or Mac, yeah, don't really have to worry about any different platforms. So let's just get it from there. And drag it into Applications Creator. Let's launch it. I have the link for FileZilla in the description below, so you can use that. Okay, so um, what I did was I actually went with ByteHost instead of HelioHost because there's a bit of an error doing uh, the sign up process and I only knew about it now even though I signed up on October 9th. The thing with HelioHost is that you have to wait 48 hours but with ByteHost, features aren't as good but at least you can get it instantaneously. So let's just go over to FTP account and I have all the stuff over here. Now what I am do is go into FileZilla, click on this icon here and click new site and I'm just going to call this um, Let's just copy the stuff over here. Change this to normal. The user, you just copy it from here. This is randomly generated. And the password is what you use to sign up the site with. Okay, so we're gonna upload it into ht.docs. Just delete this here. Yeah, so it just says files should be uploaded here. Let's just delete this. And now what we're gonna do is go onto the website. And just copy everything, just select everything and drag it in here. And you just let it upload. It'll take a while, but eventually, when it's done, I'll bring it to share the web. I'll show you guys the website, and that's it basically. So, I'll see you guys in a bit once this is done uploading. So it is done uploading all the files and it literally took less than 5 minutes to get all the files uploaded over here. Um, now let's just have a look at the website. It looks up pretty well and it's actually all as expected as what we saw in Dreamweaver the last time. So that is all for this series, if you have any questions, like if you have any compatibility issues with HelioHost or something like that, because of the last minute change to ByteHost, um, ByteHost, however you pronounce it, never mind. Um, any questions, just leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, yeah. And if this series was helpful, be sure to subscribe and like all three videos. 
um yeah that's it thanks for watching guys i'll see you guys next time bye